Hey dumplings, David Asai, welcome back to my channel. So, how are you little dumplings doing today? Hope you're feeling nice and steamy. And uh, that's the only pun I have for you here today. And that's the whole video. So thank you so much for watching, I'm kidding. So today we're talking about something that's kind of been talked about a lot in the ARMY fandom. A lot of ARMYs, jokingly or not, believe that Jin might actually hate Junko. They secretly believe this, they actually believe this, we don't know. We also have footage from a BTS run episode and we're definitely gonna talk about that. So let's give some opinions. Is it true, is it not, what are my thoughts? We also have Respect BTS Jin that was apparently trending on Twitter. And a lot of people have opinions on that. We want to talk about that. We want to talk about Big Hit. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you use a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now, let's jump into it. The first and the fun little tea that we're going to talk about here today is, of course, the Jin and Jungkook moment. The belief that Jin might actually hate our baby Jungkook. Jin and Jungkook both have a lot of pet peeves. There are little things that irk them and you don't want to get either of them angry or pissed off and you don't want to cross each other. So don't piss them off. Don't do one of their pet peeves. This of course is no shock because you can see Jin and Jungkook kind of argue a lot. And Jin gets annoyed at a lot of stuff. But like same though. So can we just be like annoyed together? Can I be Mrs. Worldwide Handsome? That would actually probably require me to be handsome though, right? Jin of course likes things done his way. I get that. And of course he believes his way is the correct way. This is such a zaddy trait by the way. But I was recently reading some tweets about Jungkook and Jin after a recent episode of BTS Run saying that they might actually secretly hate each other and I thought that would be a fun and interesting video to talk about. See if it's kind of true. Spoiler alert, I don't think it is. You know what's funny since we're talking about Jungkook and Jin is that Jungkook hates being called like the little baby and the bunny and all that stuff and this is usually because he is the youngest and very very cute. Jin also hates to be referred to as like the parent of the group yet when we ship Jin and Jungkook together for Jin Cook, we get them like parent kid type of relationship names. It's very weird I die. I personally do not ship Jin and Jungkook together. But in kind of a recent BTS Run episode, they kind of do things that make us go like, ooh. If you don't know what BTS Run is, we'll quickly talk about that. It is their kind of documentary reality show. They play games, they sometimes cook, they do things that us peasants normally do. Just normal activities that we get to see our kings do. It's very cute, it's very fun. But basically in the recent BTS Run episode, Jin and Jungkook were actually kind of playing together and they were playing badminton. If you don't know what badminton is, it's basically like tennis, but then like they're hitting something different and the rules are slightly different, but overall they're like a racket and like a thing. Tennis stands, please don't come for me. I know it's not the same. I actually like playing both sports, but they're similar, okay? They're in the same family. But Jin and Jungkook were not playing against each other. They were kind of playing with each other. So they were on the same team playing against other boys. Jungkook, funny enough, was actually playing with a skillet instead of a racket at one point. And Jungkook ended up missing quite a lot of shots. Like shots that would come near Jungkook and Jungkook would just kind of not hit them, purposely not hit them, or just miss them in general. So Jin, as we know, is a little bit competitive and he gets a little bit angsty when Cookie does not hit the shot. Jin actually says things like, don't act like you would have hit it. And my opinion is that definitely does make sense because if Jungkook is sitting there acting like I would have got it, but he didn't actually try to get it, then I can see why Jin would be a little bit annoyed. And then he gets frustrated and he says this, do nothing if you don't want to hit it. Oh my baby, that's so savage. How you do Cookie like that? Jin just basically looks like he's given up here. He's just done. He's like so over and he's just like, oh Cookie, do whatever. I totally get it. Have you ever tried playing like a sport or a board game with someone who just doesn't get it. It's really funny and frustrating kind of at the same time, but it's definitely fun to watch. But hey, Cookie's good at singing, boxing, dancing, that sort of thing. He don't need to be good at everything, okay? We can excuse him not being great at badminton. I personally don't believe that Jin would dislike or hate Jungkook, at least not in the way that they truly like really hate each other. Like I don't think Jin's just like putting up with Cookie just because they're in a team together and they're touring. I think Jin kind of sees Cookie as kind of like a little brother, like someone to like look after and give advice to and you know sometimes get frustrated with. That's really cute and nice. Can I be Jin's little brother if I can't be his lover? I think when there are seven boys put together for a very long time and they don't really get breaks from each other, they kind of have to always be together. They can kind of start to step on each other's shoes and get on each other's nerves a little bit. It's like if you lived with your roommate who hopefully you like and also your sibling who hopefully you like. It's like you love them still but they're gonna get on your nerves because. I think Jin definitely does see Jungkook as a little brother and someone to look after and small things that Jungkook does can kind of irk Jin sometimes. Similar to how an older brother would like tease their little brother if they did something kind of dumb. But like no hate there. Jin even pre-debut, if you actually did not know this, used to buy a lot of the foods for Jungkook when they were at their hotel together. So Jungkook wouldn't be able to buy the foods himself and Jin would 
would offer to pay them. Now Jin actually does come from a wealthy family if you didn't know his parents are actually pretty wealthy so him sharing kind of that wealth with his bandmate and Jungkook really does show their relationship how close they were even from the beginning and that just doesn't go away. I personally feel like each member of BTS is actually very very introverted like they both like to have time for themselves and they both have very specific sometimes weird things that irk them and obviously as an introvert it can be very difficult when you don't get that time to yourself always around so many people because seven people is quite a lot of people whereas like if you were me I can't usually handle more than like two people I like to be with just like one-on-one -on -one. but I think most of the things that have come out of Jin's mouth that he has said about Jungkook or jokingly said about Jungkook have just been like criticisms or jokes I don't think there's any annoyance behind them or at least any annoyance that he's shown on camera and also keep in mind Jin can be a little bit competitive so if y'all playing with a team together and you ain't even really trying then of course Jin's gonna be a little bit annoyed maybe he really wanted to win I personally find competitiveness hot huh? you can hit me with that badminton racket I bet it'll hurt Ooh. but I want to get into kind of what some armies have been saying on the Twitter sphere to dish and talk about what has been going on over there there's always something going on over there one Twitter user wrote I think Jin actually hates Jungkook sad face as I said maybe in like a brotherly way but definitely not in like a hate hate way I think Jin still shows quite a bit of affection towards Jungkook with all the hugging and all the whatevers and he does show love to Jungkook all the time and I believe that if he actually hated Jungkook he would not be able to do that I surely don't show affection and hug people that I don't like it's rare I don't have too many people that I don't like but the ones that I do I definitely don't go and hug them and I give good hugs okay so I don't just give my hugs away to people I don't like I imagine Jin is the same I bet he's stingy with his hugs and he only gives them to Jungkook and sometimes Namjoon. We also have this one right here, which I know is a joke, but I thought it was very funny, so I thought I would obviously include it here. Jin. Jungkook hates it when I give him Christmas slash birthday combo gifts, but that's what he gets for being born in September. Obviously, that is like fake subs. This is not real, but I thought it was very, very funny. And it'd be like that sometimes. But that's how you know he loves you. There's even a joke going around that he hates like the Maknae line. This Twitter user wrote, No one hates the Maknae line more than Jin does. He obviously doesn't, okay? He is the oldest. So for him, the Maknae line is kind of everyone else. So he's not going to pretend that he likes something. We know that Jin doesn't pretend to do anything he doesn't want to do. Hence, he never gets a hair haircut when Big Hit tells him to get a haircut. Jin doesn't do a lot of things, especially when he doesn't feel like it. Another one that a lot of armies were talking about was actually the dance break on the BTS On music video and how Jin wasn't included in that dance break. A lot of armies started to look into times when Jin wasn't included in a lot of other things. That Jin didn't get as much screen time as he would like to get and possibly should have gotten. And people debated whether Big Hit was doing this on purpose or was it by an accident or why was this happening? But I don't believe Jin has much say on what he can and can't do in terms of working. I don't believe he can just simply say, I don't want to work right now. So I'm I'm just not going to participate in this dance break. And then Big Hit's just going to be like, okay. It's a little bit of a different story with hairstyles and dyeing your hair. Armies aren't going to be upset with how Jin's hair turns out. They're just going to be happy that Jin is actually there. And if Jin doesn't show up to the dance practice, Big Hit knows that armies are probably going to be upset. So of course, armies felt like Jin was being purposely not included in a lot of these kind of events and decided to trend the hashtag respect BTS Jin. It's a bit heartbreaking to see that Jin obviously isn't getting the attention that he deserves. I'm obviously going to get into kind of the tweets that people were saying, but before we get into that, I actually want to show kind of some of the examples of photos and like magazines that Jin has been not included in. So let's take a look. Now we take a look at this picture right here. Now this one's not as bad as some of the other ones because Jin is actually still in there. He's just kind of cut off. But I wouldn't necessarily put this on Big Hit. I would kind of put this on the fact that like, oh, this is the printing press's problem. However, what they could have done is adjusted the pictures and adjusted everything to make sure that Jin fits where Jin is not cut in half. But like at least Jin is there in that picture, you know? So like that's the bright side of that. But then we do have this one, which is just horrible absolutely bad like Jin is completely gone in this one I don't know who printed this one and if it was big hit this is absolutely crazy yes if you count there are seven people on this page but someone's missing right if this was done by big hit I think that's very interesting because there's actually a lot of armies who were saying previously that the people who work in big hit are just there to get close to BTS and they're like mega super crazy fans but this actually highly disproves that because if they were crazy super fans they wouldn't forget any members ever I think some of the big hit staffs were just working got a little bit careless they forgot to include a whole person there me and Jin can relate this way because I'm often forgotten if you go down to the respect BTS Jin hashtag there's actually a lot of people that are saying things about this the tweets are a bit heartbreaking I will say that seeing some of the photos seeing what they're talking about because not just armies that are noticing things like this and saying that it's not okay but it seems like Jin himself is also noticing these things and is very sad apparently in an episode of their reality TV show I think they were supposed to be reacting to their music video Jin said that he hoped he had more screen time the person 
who tweeted that photo wrote, I'm so heartbroken and disgusted how our Sokjini is treated. Big hit, please give him the respect he deserves. He works so dang hard. Respect BTS Jin. I don't know, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? How do you feel about Jin possibly being forgotten? And also, how do you feel about the Jin and Jungkook thing? I'd love to know. Let me know your thoughts. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for being kind. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you would like to kind of check that out. It really helps kind of give back to this channel and kind of makes me make better videos on this channel. So anything you can kind of contribute over there really does help. You also do get exclusive content over there such as music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions, all that sort of thing on my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the top of the description down below so you can check it out. There's also two videos that will pop up at the end of the screen on this video. So please make sure you click on one of those videos and I'll catch you over there. Bye. <laughs>